the question of the night. When did you fall in love with hip-hop? Wow, okay. Nineteen eighty two, two things happened. Um, I my parents were divorced. I moved in with my father and he lived in Cobb City in the Bronx. Um, and I got a little more freedom. So I was able to kind of flip around the radio channels and, and I heard uh, it was Eighth Wonder by um, the Sugar Hill Gang. And that blew my head off. I was like, oh my God, they're playing this on the radio. And then there was a guy upstairs that lived upstairs from me. His name was DJ Larry Lair. Not the famous Larry Lair, but that was his name. And he was a DJ. And he would have all of these mixtapes and, and like uh, old school Cold Crush tapes and all of these guys and Treacherous Three and all these guys. And that's when I fell in love with hip hop. My father bought me the little Panasonic radio with the one speaker and a tape deck and you had the tape on air, you know what I mean? So it wasn't like it was going directly into, it was a cassette, but you could pick up everything in a room as well. And that was my first radio, and I used to tape all the Mr. Magic shows and all those shows. And that's when I fell in love with hip-hop. As a pioneer of hip-hop, what do you feel about the... <laughs> yes, absolutely. As a pioneer of hip-hop, how do you feel about the current state of hip-hop? Um... I said this before, like hip hop is just a reflection of life in general. You know what I mean? There's nothing that's going on in hip hop that's not going on in life. And also, hip hop hasn't really changed much to me because I still hear the same type of, you know, the same good music that people say we made. I still hear that now. You just have to look for it. They just don't play it on the radio, but if you want it, it's there. How do you feel about the current evolution of the music industry and how it's changing so rapidly and going digital? Where do you feel like it's headed? Well, I think that the record industry as we know it now, it's, it's on the way out. You know what I mean? It's an antiquated model. You know what I mean? It's, we're still, I mean, it's 2012. For them to still be trying to use the same business model from the 50s, it's crazy. Everything else has changed. Why wouldn't that change? And it's time for the artists to get more control of their, their product and their, you know, control of their careers and their destinies. Absolutely. Also, we want to know, um, is there any particular artist that you're listening to right now that you'd like to shed some light on to? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of, this is what I'm listening to now. Jay Davey, Random Max, Gene Gray, and Cy, uh, Cy Hyder Prince. I just, a couple of days ago, I got put on a Cy Hyder Prince, and I, I'm a fan. Fan for life? I don't know, huh? <laughs> you know, life, you know, life changing, you know, nothing's guaranteed. Constant, yeah, <laughs> definitely constantly changing. <laughs> Lastly, we want to ask, how are you feeling today? What's the emotion behind today and all the controversy that's been surrounding the film? Um, I'm ecstatic, you know what I'm saying? I'm really happy to be here, you know, I never would have thought that, you know, four little boys, you know, from Queens, you know, and Brooklyn would be here in this type of position. To have a movie made about us, that's crazy. Talk a little bit about that process. How long were they filming you guys? Jeez, um, like three, two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years, almost so three years. what was it like to have the film, the, the cameras documenting your every move? You know what, now I, after doing this movie, I understand how people do reality TV. Yeah. After the first five or six minutes, if you have a good interviewer, that camera is not, it's not, doesn't even exist anymore. You know what I mean? Well, let everyone know where they can check you out. Facebook, Twitter, your own site. Um, look, hit me on Twitter. Jerobi one Jerobi O-N-E, at Twitter. And you'll find out everything you need to know about me there. I'll point you in every direction you need to go. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you.